What's going on guys? My name is Dale from Creator Pro website. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a logo for free in just five minutes. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make logos like this without any experience necessary and there's no software needed. It's all done on your web browser. And by the way, for any of my subscribers that have been following along with us for our move into the new space, as you can see, we are still a work in progress. This is not the way the studio is gonna stay. It's gonna transform over the next few videos. So let's get started. Step number one is to click on the very first link in the description, or you can just go over to your web browser and type in logo maker without the e.com. And then you can just go ahead and cancel out of this little tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. So first off, a quick overview is that you can search for any icon you want just by clicking up here in this little bar or you can add text and shapes over here and change your colors over here. So now we can move on to step number two, which is to create an icon. So to do this, just go up to the search bar up here and you can type in anything that you want. Now I'm gonna be making a logo for a fake men's grooming and fashion website, just to show you. So what you can do first is actually click on this browse all logos button and there's all different categories up here like abstract, shapes, nature, and so on or you can just type in anything that you want. So for this uh, logo itself, I'm gonna be typing in something like bow tie. And then you've just got thousands and thousands of different bow ties to choose from, and this is with any category, whatever it is that your business is, you're gonna have almost limitless options. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right here. So you just click on it, and it will drop it into your project. And you can resize it just by dragging on the corner and pulling out, or going down and you can move it around just by clicking and dragging. Now, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, and we wanna make this logo a bit more unique. So I'm gonna go up and grab another one. So I'm just gonna type in, let's say, hair, and I'm just gonna grab one of these first ones right here, like this one, and what I'm gonna do is just move this up, and I'm gonna put text in between right here. So this is what I really recommend doing is taking multiple icons and combining them to make a more unique logo if you don't like any of the ones that come with Logo Maker. Okay, so now we can move on to step number three, which is to add your brand name. So to do this, you can just go over here and click on the little text button, and that's gonna drop in some text for you. And I'm just gonna type in Clean Cut. That's gonna be my new brand name. And you can just resize it by clicking and dragging or you can move it around. So if you click off and then click back on, you can drag it around and you're gonna get these little guidelines that are gonna let you know when it's in the center and it's gonna snap. And if you don't like the stock blue that it comes with, you can just go ahead and click on the text and then drag over here in the color wheel all the way down to black. Now you can also change the font. So if I just go up here, you've got a font category and then a font family. So the font category, you've got all different types. You could do fun and funky and get some really crazy ones in here. But to be honest, I like to stick with more simple and modern looks. They look a little bit more professional, but it's gonna depend on your brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on simple and modern. And then I'm gonna go over to the font family and just select a new one. Let's say this one. So now let's go ahead and make your brand name a little bit more unique. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the text again and I'm gonna type in cut by itself. And I'm just gonna drag that out so we can see it. And I'm gonna make it black. And then I'm gonna change the font family to something a little bit more bold. Let's say like this one, just like that. And I'm gonna delete cut out of this one. So I'm just gonna type clean. And then I'm just gonna move it over just a little bit and put cut next to it and then size it up, just like that. Maybe resize this one a little bit, and there we go. And now if you click and drag a box, you can drag them both around at the same time. So I'm just gonna make sure that these are centered like that. Maybe drag my hair down a little bit and my bow tie up a little bit. And that is a pretty good looking logo right there. And the reason I chose both of these fonts is because cut being bold makes the word clean look a lot more minimal and clean. So now we can move on to step number four, which is to select your colors. So this can be done very simple. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the word cut, 
and then go over to the color wheel here. And if you just click on this little outside wheel, you can change the hue to anything that you want. And then you've got the saturation and lightness in this box here. So what I'm gonna do is select a blue color, maybe something like that, and then select kind of a dark desaturated version of this blue, something like that. And that could be my company colors right there. And you can do this to the text and the icons themselves. So now let's move on to step number five, which is to download your logo. So to do this, you just go up to the little save button up here at the top right and click on that. And then you can see it's gonna ask you to buy this high resolution file for 19 bucks, but there is a button down here that says, no thanks, download the low resolution file. And you just have to credit Logo Maker. You could put it somewhere small on your website, really doesn't matter. So you can go ahead and click no thanks, download the low resolution file. And that is going to hit your downloads right there. So now I'll just go to where that image is. In this case, I just put it on my desktop but you've got your image right here. And this is a PNG, meaning that it's gonna have a transparent background. So you can put it on top of anything and only the icon and the text are gonna show through. And one more quick tip is that if you wanna go back and edit your logo at any time, just go back to Logo Maker and just copy this little URL down here by hitting this button right here. And then save it somewhere where you can access it because if you type that into your browser again, you can go back at any point and edit it. All right guys, so that was how to create a logo for free. Next, if you'd like to learn how to make a website, just click on this video right here. Or you can just go up to your browser and type in createaprowebsite.com and you can learn there. All right guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.